All right, guys, so we are about to create a calculator program in Python. And before we do that, actually, we need to learn a few more things. So we're going to go over uh, a couple of the loop types in Python. So there's two. Uh, one of them is a for loop, and one of them is a while loop. So uh, basically, a for loop is good for uh, if you want to iterate over a, uh, an array or a list in Python, uh, you can do something for each item in the list. So let's go ahead and create a list. So let's just call it numbers. And we're going to create an array and go one, two, three, four, five. So let's type four item in numbers. Uh, and we're going to just uh, print out item. I'm going to save. And let's go ahead and run this. And you're going to see that on each line it prints out uh, its number. So we would be able to do this if we wanted to have uh, different names in here. So again, let's go Nick, someone, another person. Save this. Let's go ahead and run the script again. And it's going to print out Nick, someone, and another person. So what we can do here actually is we can... I have this person's name is, and then the name of the person. So let's go ahead, and you'll see that for each one it does print out that. So that is a for loop, and basically uh, the second uh, parameter here in the for loop is the uh, array, or the list. And then the first one here is what you want each item in the list to be called while inside its, its little block of code. Uh, so in this case, we're calling it item. So that is a for loop. Now we're going to learn about a while loop. So let's go ahead and create two variables. Uh, one is going to be called run, and it's going to be equal to true. And the other is going to be called uh, current, and it's going to be equal to zero, actually one. So let's go ahead. And what we're going to do is type while run, and then we write what we want uh, to happen uh, you know, if uh, if it's currently running. So what we're going to do is we are going to put an if statement here. So we're going to go if uh, current equals 100. And I actually don't need those brackets. All right. So if current equals 100, we are going to set run to false. But if it's not... We're going to print current. And then after we print current, we go current plus equals one. So let's go ahead and save this. And what this is going to do is basically uh, we're setting run to true initially because we want it to run at least once. Uh, so while run, which in this case the first time it goes over, it's definitely going to be true. Uh, it's going to check is current equal to 100? Well, on the first time, no, it's not. It's equal to 1. Uh, so this block of code won't run. If it's not equal to 100, what it's going to do is it's going to print the current number and then add 1 to the current number. And then uh, run is still true, so it's going to go over it again. So what we should see here is uh, it's going to print the numbers uh, 1 to 99. So let's go ahead and run the script. And that's exactly what we see here. Now, these are two useful concepts that we're going to be using. So uh, hold on to those. And if you didn't quite understand what I'm doing here, let me know in the uh, discussion section.